It's the worst, the absolute worst catastrophe that's facing humanity. That if we look at all diseases like Ebola and all accidents and all wars and so on, climate change is currently killing a half a million people. We must remember is two degrees C right here that we must limit global warming to 2C because, as I'll tell you, 1.5C is gone. It's just not obvious to us, but this is changing our life support system. It's just like we're destroying our house and all the things that we need in it, the food and the water and the air supply and so on. That's climate change. It affects everything around us. We're a biological organism. If we don't take care of what we need, our food, our water, our air, we're finished. When COP number one began, each year we were putting up into the atmosphere eight gigatons, eight billion tons of carbon. When it began, sorry, and now look what we are doing. It goes up and up and up, and we are now presently putting up 11 billion gigatons of carbon every year. I'm sorry, but this is science. We can't deny it. I told you this is like your daughter or son having a temperature. The temperature is going up and up. Your child will die unless we look at these numbers here. Right? Now, if the doctor is standing there telling us, well, there's a really easy way to get the temperature down, here's the medicine, you know, so on and so on, we would listen to that advice. The problem is that climate change seems so far off, it seems so abstracted, we don't really see that this is the baby, that the Earth is the baby. If we cared for it, we have to care for it, because as I told you, all of our food, water, air, everything comes from this planet. So that's our baby, that keeps us alive, so apply the same logic.